second half of our tropical rainforest case study moves away from looking at the adaptions, such as the buttress roots and the drip tip leaves, to looking at causes and then management of deforestation. So if we just move over slightly and we start off looking at the causes. Now, there's a huge range of causes, but we will do our best to fit as many of them in as possible. So, starting off with one of the most obvious ones is the construction of roads. We can use that to separate our causes and management in the second one. These roads are generally built uh, to connect towns in the rainforest. Uh, a lot were built, for example, in the Amazon during the World Cup, or they're built by mining companies or logging companies that need to get their equipment and products in and out of the rainforest. So obviously that links to another cause, as we said, mining. And there's some quite precious materials like gold. On top of that, okay, as I said, we've got logging. So we see uh, trees being cut down to make furniture, particularly hardwoods like mahogany. So just draw a few logs. We also see things such as urban spread. You know, the Atlantic forest is bordered by both Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. So large urban areas that are spreading into the towns. spreading out into the rainforest, and obviously rainforest has to be cut down to make room for these, particularly along the edges of the roads. We also see things such as subsistence farming, where people just grow small parts of land, plots of land to provide them with enough crops to feed their family. But we also are starting to see commercial farming, and as I've said in other diagrams, I hate drawing cows, but cattle ranching is a really big cause of deforestation. And the problem with cattle ranching and commercial farming is that once you remove the trees to make room for your cattle ranch, that removes the constant refill of nutrients from the leaf litter. So what we see is that cattle ranches quickly become uh, infertile and therefore more rainforest has to be cut down to find new fertile ground. Mm -hmm. Now it's possible that you may have to look at the impacts as well. Now I don't really have time to go through these, but whenever I talk about uh, the impacts of deforestation. It's always worth thinking positive and negative, social, economic, environmental and political. And if you can think of those things as when you're talking about your impacts, really worthwhile doing. Now if we look at management, so how has the rainforest been managed to try and prevent deforestation? Okay, and in this case, you're going to be looking at both local and global schemes. So, for example, one of them okay, is on a global scale, and that's been actually quite successful, is debt cancellation. So, countries, uh, for example, Brazil, who took out large uh, loans back in the 1990s, have had their debt cancelled by the countries that they owe money to in return for uh, the... Uh, Brazil agreeing to maintain some of their rainforest and not to, uh, not to cut it down. Now, you might also get something called carbon sinks, which is where countries will all uh, cancel debt or even maybe buy an area of rainforest in a country to offset their carbon emissions. Uh, another big thing okay, that has worked on a global scale is ecotourism. So ecotourism you know, encourages people to come to the rainforest and they stay in small lodges and they do eco-activities such as uh, monitoring species or even planting new trees or reforestation. And that's been really, really helpful. And then uh, one final strategy okay, is to, uh, that hasn't been so successful is uh, selective logging. So this is where um, only certain types of uh, trees are cut down, the mature trees. Uh, however, it's been really not as successful as they would have hoped, mainly because when you try and cut down one tree, normally as it falls down or as you drag it out, you normally destroy around 30 other trees. And also, unfortunately, uh, there have been a lot of companies that have selectively logged and then have found that other companies that I just do clear fellings to just cut down any tree they can find, have just used the roads that the original company built to go and deforest the area after the selective loggers have left.